Hear me, this hands down is probably the easiest wash and go that you'll ever do. All right, y'all, we back with another hair video and oh my gosh, I look like some of y'all boyfriends. <laughs> oh my God. We'll be having like the fade on the side and a little twist in the side. This is what my hair looks like. I had the shower cap on because I needed to run some errands and I wanted my hair to be a little bit damp when I started applying my product. So I have an event that I am going to and so we are gonna do a wash and go. The event is tomorrow. So I want my hair to pretty much give day four hair even though it's really like day one, day two. And what I'm used to do that is gonna be this crazy sexy curl. This is the foam mousse from the do. I'm just gonna lather this on my hair. Honestly, a little goes a long way, so you don't have to do as many pumps as I did. But I'm taking my shampoo brush and I'm just brushing this through my hair. I can count on one hand how many times I've done wash and goes with setting mousse. And in my opinion, they don't last super long, um, but they give you those kind of day three, day four hair results on day one, day two. Um, the last time I did this, I used the Mousse Death. Um, and I think my hair turned out good. I had a photo shoot that next day and the curls were popping. So the goal is for my hair to look like that as well. Even though I'm using the Crazy Sexy Curl. This set foam has a little bit more of a hold than the Mousse Death, in my opinion. Um, and I just like really, 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 really love this setting foam. Like, holy grail, this. So I am um, separate my hair and finger coiling the curls. I mean, the shine, the definition is giving. My hair was already sectioned in like twist. Um, so I'm just doing about, I probably could get away with two, two, pumps of foam mousse probably don't even need that much y'all i just oh y'all i need to do like the y'all remember way back when they did the 100 pumps challenge and they had people just doing 100 pumps of product in their hair 100 layers of foundation 100 layers of mascara like all the things i need to do the opposite and try the um the like one pump challenge now, ain't no way I'm gonna be able to style my hair with one pump for the entire head, but maybe like one pump per section kind of thing. Comment below if you think that'll be a great natural hair challenge for the channel. And y'all, while we here, I had fun talking to y'all last time while I was doing my hair, so let's do that again. So, update. <laughs> So y'all remember the guy I told y'all I met on an app? Eventually he texted me, right? So eventually he used my phone number, he texted me, and um, he still was badgering me about my Instagram, which I thought that was giving weird energy. Um, but I was like, just FaceTime me. That's the way you, you'll know, like, you know, I'm not a catfish. Still went a little back and forth before he actually FaceTimed me. So then we um, FaceTimed. And when we FaceTimed, he was like in the dark. And I'm like, I mean, I get it was late. Or later at night. <laughs> but like, if you FaceTiming me to confirm I'm not a catfish, I feel like you should have one your light so I can confirm that. You're not a catfish. Eventually he turns on um, his light and he's not a catfish, I'm not a catfish, cool. Um, and then we talk a little bit or whatever and then he was like, oh yeah, when's the next time you're gonna be in the city? And I was like, oh, I'm actually gonna be there um, tomorrow. And so he was like, oh, well, maybe we can hang out kind of thing. And I was like, oh, well, I'm doing this, this, and this and we ended up settling on doing like a coffee date. So I'd never done a coffee date before. I don't even drink coffee. Um, but we wound up like picking a location to go to um, 
and we picked the time. I was like, okay, well, you know, I guess I'll see you in the morning. Um, I'll let you know if I'm on the way, when I'm on the way, blah, 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 blah. So, and I may be wrong in this situation, <laughs> but let me give you a, como se dice, preface or backstory. Like y'all, y'all probably already know. Like the guys that I run into and or deal with are people who like don't show initiative. They don't like act like they really like are that interested. You know what I'm saying? And so I did tell them I would like hit them up when I was on the way up there. But in the morning, I was just like doing so much rushing around so I could be on time because I had a photo shoot at 12 and we were supposed to meet at 11 for coffee. And so like, I'm rushing to get on the road, blah, 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 blah. I get on the road, I'm headed to the coffee place. Um, but I didn't have, I think I was, I was either talking on the phone or something, but I wasn't like hands on my phone the whole ride up there. So I didn't text him that morning. But you know, in my head, I'm like, unless I said I wasn't coming, we clearly agreed last night that we was meeting at 11 o'clock. So I was like, surely like, he'll be there. So I get to the coffee spot. I ordered my order ahead of time because I didn't want to have to deal with the whole awkward moment. Like, should I buy you coffee? Like, I didn't want to have to deal with that or feel like, you know, like we getting coffee. We not at a restaurant. So I went ahead and ordered my drink. So when I got there, my drink was ready. I looked around, didn't see him. I was like, okay, maybe he's running late. And normally I'd be late. So I was like, okay, maybe he's running late. I showed up like right on, right at 11 o'clock. Um, and again, didn't see him. So I like found a seat or whatever. And then I was just like scrolling on my phone. So then like, Maybe five minutes go by, four or five minutes go by. And I'm, I text him, I'm like, hey. And he's like, what's up? And I'm like, are you there? And sometimes I'll be like, are you there? Because I don't want to give away the fact that I'm on time and I'm already there. So I was like, are you there? He was like, no, I'm at home. So then I was like, wow. He was like, what's up or something like that. And I was like, I think I said, wow. And then I sent him like a picture of me holding my coffee. And he was like, you didn't text me this morning. So then after that, <laughs> I was like, my good friends would tell me to block this man. And one of my friends was like, girl, if he don't show up, I leave. And so then after that, I was just like, man, bump this. And so I just was like, nah, it's all good. And then I left. Um, so y'all let me know, was I in the wrong? Cause I just feel like, you know, why would you assume I wasn't coming? Or if you had any doubt on whether I was coming or not, you could have just texted me and been like, oh, good morning. Um, let me know when you 10 minutes out. Or good morning, drive safe, can't wait to see you. Like, you know, something. And like, he, like yeah. <laughs> like, I just feel like, that's is that not simple? Am I asking for too much? So that was technically like, I think my first time getting stood up. <laughs> so that was fun. We ain't gonna talk about my dating chronicles all the time, but I wanted to share with you guys an update. If you did not watch my last chit chat, watch and go video, make sure you click up here and check it out because baby, you will not believe 
how these dudes be doing out in these streets. I mean, you probably believe it, but it's just crazy. Speaking of relationships, I know y'all done seen the Who Did I Marry saga on the tickety top. And baby, <laughs> Miss Risa, Risa Pieces, Risa Tisi, Risa Tessa. Girl, first of all, you deserve a Grammy for telling that story because I gave you every watch minute of that 52 part series, okay? And y'all, like, I'm not going to hold you. Like, the way she told that story, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm not going to spoil it. But basically, she was married to a pathological liar and she told her experience from when she met him, started dating him, how they got married, and how they ended up. And... She just was so good at telling stories. And I'm like, dang, like, if I could tell a story like that, baby, my view time and watch time would skyrocket. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to tell some story like Reese Teeth, Reese Pieces. So far, so good. The hair is moving. It's lightweight, but it's defined. I absolutely love this. Whatever y'all put up in here, baby, you got a lifetime customer out of me. I've pretty much been doing like a curved part to cover up where um, my little bald spot was. And now I'm gonna just say it's thinning, honey, cause it is growing back. One thing I will say is y'all, I miss my little half up, half down situation. It's like, I miss being able to do that style. Cause it's so easy when I don't want to do nothing with my hair. It's the foam mousse for me. Like that is finger. That is literally me just running my fingers through it. Somebody come look at this. Somebody come look at this. Come look at this. I know you see. I know you see it. So boom, everything is done. This is what the back looks like. It already feels so lightweight. Um, this literally takes me like 30 minutes or less to do my entire head. Now I'm gonna sit under a hooded dryer for probably less than 30 minutes for it to fully dry and then pick it out, fluff it go. So I'm gonna sit under the dryer and I'm gonna come back with my hair dry. I'm telling y'all, like, if you need a quick little bust down bob bob, this is gonna do it. Like, it gives you that day four, day five hair on day one. Or at least it's perfect for situations like this where I need my hair to look its best tomorrow and I don't have three or four days to sit around and hope it get better by the day, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> and I'm not putting on a full face of makeup to finish up this video. So, the thumbnail may be from tomorrow's event when my hair and makeup is done. But, the hair is done literally an hour this is giving an hour wash day styling session. You can apply the product in about 20, 25. You can let it dry for about 20, 25. Pick it out, style it to your, or you know, fluff it out to your desired look, and then you're good to go. If you're still watching, that means you've been enjoying your girl Slim, so you might as well go ahead and subscribe down below and join the family. Y'all also comment what videos y'all wanna see next. I hope y'all enjoying this natural hair journey with me. And you already know, I love y'all. Y'all never forget, be kind, be true, and be you, Tiffle. Bye! Yeah, Slim Rush, yeah.